Hey folks, it's early December and the weather's fantastic so we're getting back out in my 53 Chrysler today for a cruise. Thanks for joining us again. Special thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for subscribing. Um, this next video, we're going to talk about really tearing it further down into the block. Um, I'm going to take out some valve guides here, um, disassemble the entire oil uh, galleries, um, push out some valves, springs, typical stuff just to get that block torn right down. And it's, it's pretty much ready to ship out now. So I'll just review my steps here. Um, on the, on, the, on the next, uh, on the past week of what I've been doing with my engine, getting ready for the machine shop. So. Tighten that. Now the valve wants to come open when you tighten it, that's fine. Grab a soft blow hammer here. And I'm going to just tap the top of the valve. That releases the, uh, the locks, valve keepers, also known as. One landed over here. There's one still on there. There it is. Two halves, valve keeper locks. I keep a little magnetic tray over on the side of my block there so I can store them, release the uh, compressor tool here, the valve will just lift right up. At this point I'm just backing off the valve tap, it's the adjustment screws there where you're setting the valve lash. Um, just tightening those up, making the distance uh, shorter so that I can easily get the uh, valve springs out. Here I'll uh, just release a tap in, in uh, standard time here so you can see closely what's going on there. All that time you spend setting the valves <laughs> It's all undone right here at this point. All right, I'm going to try taking a piston out here. I got rubber on the bolts. We know there's a ridge. But, oh, came out super easy. I barely touched it. And yes, we have broken piston rings. Cool. So we'll carry on. There's number one piston ring broken. Number two looks okay. Interesting. As far as I can tell, everything in this engine is original. This is how it was assembled, I think, at the factory. So a little bit of wear on the front and the back. These are on the thrust surfaces of the piston as it travels up and down. I can't feel any grooves or ridges in there. Really smooth. Don't see any signs of cracking. So I guess what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to take this second ring off and I'm going to put it in the bore and I'm going to measure the ring gap. I'll measure how thick that ring is too and we'll see how much piston ring where we've got but I don't know these pistons look pretty good they look clean 
Hmm. Interesting. More time to do more research. Here I'm just pounding out my valve guides. They all came out pretty well, except for the very last one. I struggled with it for some reason. You'll see it here in a second. The last one was proven stubborn. It just did not want to come out. I thought my air compressor maybe needed a, a minute to, uh, to charge up, but it wasn't that either. Just tight. Nice tight fit. I was pounding on it for a while there and he broke away, part of the guide. Anyways, they're all out. That's it, no going back on the guides. We're just about ready to take this block to the machine shop now. There's really not much left. I think the only thing left to do is take out the water distribution tube. That's it, and then she's stripped completely. I'll drop her off the machine shop. So if you're a subscriber, you've seen me do this in the the other videos. Just take out the tube. You see it coming out there? I'm just moving my my little gripper here to different holes because it's brass in this engine. I don't want to put all the pressure on one one of the holes. I just took a vice grips, tapping it out. Not much to it. So I put that in there back in the summer and uh, when I pushed it in I guess I might have pushed it a little bit too far on that end. I don't know, it's okay. I'll just reshape it. It's only brass but I see it's a little, a little munch there and that's not from removal. And no damage this time on removal. All my holes look great. That is a technique I learned. Just don't pound on the exact same hole with the tool every time. You're going to if it's brass, mine's brass, it'll wreck it. Vice grips on a flat piece, nothing to it. So when I go into the tool here, you'll see how I grab it. See it sticking out right there? And then I start hammering on it. Then I move it down, slide it to the next hole, hammer some more, slide it down, pull it out. That's why it's cut on an angle so I can arc it up and grab the hole in the water tube. There you go. That's it. There's really nothing left in this block to do. I took more scrunge and <laughs> sludge and dirt out of this tube again this week. Just keeps coming up, but I think I got it all. I think it's ready. So, I've learned that I have stock original bores and my crank has never been turned. It's all original. I have every reason to believe this is the first time this engine's ever come apart since it was new. There's one thing I tried to do here. Right here, one head bolt cracked off, if you remember. In my first, uh, one of my first videos earlier here in the engine job. I drilled it out. I don't know if you can see it there. Right here. I drilled it out multiple times, different sizes. I tried every kind of tool that I had for easy outs and bolt extraction tools. I couldn't get that out, it would not come out. So I'm not gonna progress any further and risk damaging something. I took a little bit of heat to it, not much. Again, a little nervous about maybe doing some damage to my block. So I'm gonna let the machine shop take that out. I bet you he'll do it in 30 seconds. He's probably got some tool that I don't have because I've already drilled it and he'll just pull it right out of there, more than likely. One of the other points I guess we could talk about is the oil gallery. The main oil gallery runs in the block along here and there's a plug in this end. There's a pipe plug here and here another pipe plug. This is where the oil filter line hooks up and it goes up to the oil filter housing. Uh, this is where your oil pressure gauge line hooks up at the back of the oil gallery and in behind there, right there, to be another pipe plug. All those have been removed for uh, purposes of cleaning the block. And uh, right in here is where the uh, spring uh, tensioner sits on the uh, pressure uh, fitting. There's a plug here. Oh, let me get the parts to show you. And that maintains your oil pressure. That's this piece right here. There's your plunger. 
that sits into the gallery spring there's very variable gauge rate of tension springs available a plug for the block uh, the end plugs on the end of the oil galleries they're a funny square drive system this is a 5 16 size drive I ordered a special uh, adapter from Jet Tools. It looks like a socket, and it uh, fit in there, 5 sixteenths. I don't know, cheap. cost me like 7 bucks. I was able to get those out. There's your regular pipe plugs for the oil galleries. So that's about it. The, the block is completely stripped. Disassembly is complete. I, I really reluctantly uh, held off ordering any parts yet. And I know it's gonna cause me delays, but I, I wanna make sure the block is good and, and crack checked and before I start ordering parts. I do have another spare block. I have a, a 218 Canadian built engine as well. I could also bore it over. So I'm gonna start with this one and bore it out to three and seven sixteenths. And uh, the other thing I didn't do, I took out all the frost or expansion plugs here but I didn't take them out of the end here, and there's two on the back side with it, on the block back down there. Because I want to wait until the uh, expansion plug kit arrives so I can make sure I've got all the right sizes. What if it only comes with five? <laughs> well, then I'll be glad I didn't take those out. But we shall see. Um, yeah, I've bagged and tagged a bunch of my parts here. I got stuff. Uh, the tags and labels and try to keep my parts organized as best I can while the engine is in the machine shop getting uh, all the machine work done I will start degreasing cleaning up all my parts inspecting further once I hear that it's good and it's been checked I'll order all my parts so uh, it's gonna be quite a delay before I get any more uh, updates to share a few more parts over here not gonna be much to do other than cleaning Here's my spare block there. I got a spare Canadian block there to talk about and a crank if I need to.